Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. In the earlier videos, we have seen what is cars and how we can use it in different ways in our Web API. From this video onwards, we will start learning and implementing JWT token based authentication in our Web API. So, we have started the Web API security concepts and we have discussed cores and now we are starting with jwt authentication as part of this jwt authentication so we need to discuss few things before starting implementing the jwt so before learning jwt we need to learn what is authentication and what is authorization so what is authentication Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user or a system. Okay, so if you want to consume a web API service, so you need to verify your identity, you need to prove your identity to access that particular web API. So that's called authentication. Okay, we can take the real time example like when you are entering into the office premises, you need to show your identity card and you need to prove the identity okay so then only you will be allowed into the premises of your office or same thing happens in the college also so you need to show the identity card to prove your identity once your identity is proved then you are allowed into the campus right yeah that's authentication then what is authorization once you entered into the campus it can be office campus or the college campus once you entered into the campus or the premises you are allowed to go to only your cabin or your classroom right if it is a office premises you will be allowed to go to your workstation and your work area okay not to the other areas in the college also you will be allowed to go to your classrooms or labs not to the other areas right so authorization defines what actions can a user or system is allowed to perform right so what actions user can do is defined by the authorization okay so authentication will verify your identity whether you are a valid person or a valid system once you are identity is proved okay verified then once you enter into the campus then authorization will handle what are all actions you can do and what are all you cannot do okay that's the authorization so to implement these two so right now we have implemented the web api application this is our web api application okay so this is our web api application in our web api application we have uh, different different modules student module and fees module and attendance module and examination module like this our web api application have different different modules inside it so i can say this is a web api app and inside this application we have a different modules this is student module and this one is a fees module and this one is what attendance module and this one is a examination module okay so like this our web api application has different different modules have different different modules okay so when a user wants to access it when a user wants to access it okay when a user wants to access it first he needs to prove the identity once his identity is proved then he will be allowed to do few actions or specified actions so if this user is allowed to access only fees module and examination module then those two he can access he cannot access other modules okay so likewise if there is another user so he needs to verify his identity first once identity is verified then he will be allowed to access students module or the other modules okay whichever are accessible to him okay 
so we can implement this authentication using the username and password and we can implement this authorization using the role okay so using the roles we can do the authorization using the username and password we can implement the login process or authentication process okay so that's about authentication and authorization once we know the authentication and authorization we need to see what is jwt okay jwt is a json web tokens the full form for jwt is json web tokens jwt is a popular mechanism for securing web apis by encoding information in a token that can be easily validated okay so in this jwt mechanism our web api server will generate a token and it will share that with the client okay when client wants to access any endpoint or any resource he needs to come back with that particular token okay then only that particular resource or action method will be accessed otherwise it will be denied so server will respond with 401 unauthorized status code okay so in the next video we will discuss about jwt in detail so what is jwt and how it works okay and in our dotnet web api dotnet core application so we will use this library to generate and validate the token okay microsoft dot asp dot net core dot authentication dot jwt bearer so this is the library name nugget package name we will use to generate the token and validate the token for more videos like this please like share and subscribe if you have any questions please ask in the comment box thank you for watching